Today, we're gonna to talk about lift pumps. Lift pumps is probably not the most exciting subject when it comes to turbo diesels, but I'm actually really excited about this, and I'm gonna show you why. For those of you who don't know what a lift pump is, this is a thing that transfers fuel from your fuel tank to your injection pump. Your injection pump takes the pressure really high and sends that through your injectors. So this pump here is our Predator lift pump. We've already shown you guys this in the 24 valve video we did a while ago. And this is actually for the 12 valve. This is a 12 valve model. This is a much higher pressure rating. Now on a 12 valve, pressure's really important. They're all rated high. Like you buy a Fast or an Airdog or Airmotive or some other brand out there, you're really 45 PSI is kind of as low where you, they're gonna put, they're gonna say 45 PSI is their, is their rating. Now, pressure is a huge deal in these trucks. When Will was drag racing his Junker drag truck, he started at 40 PSI, and then he jumped it up to 60 PSI, and he's, according to the track, that was worth about 45 horsepower. Then he went from 60 up to 80 PSI and picked up another 45 horsepower. So he's like, all he had to do was increase pressure, and he picked up big power on his pumps. He went all the way up to 120 PSI, and he said he kept seeing power all the way up to there, but the big jump was up to 80 PSI, is a big jump. So that's a level you cannot achieve with an electric lift pump. So we wanted to make a mechanical pump that actually is run off the engine, takes a lot more juice than an electronic pump can ever hope to put out. And so these are cool because the more RPM you turn, the more this pump flows. An electronic pump is just static. It flows the same amount all the time. Where this one, more RPM, more flow. So the way this pump works, is actually driven off of your engine dampener. We have this pulley that we bolt on your dampener and it runs this belt and it turns this guy here. And so this is why it, it keeps up with your engine. The faster you spin your engine, the more fuel this thing pumps. So it works really well. This pump here will handle every 12 millimeter P pump out there. You cannot build one so radical that this won't handle it. This will actually handle almost all of your 13 millimeter pumps as well. This will handle up to about 975 cc's of injection rate. That's a pretty good 13 mil pump. Some really gnarly 13 mil pumps are higher than that. If you have like a billet cam, super awesome 13 mil pump, you need to go to our next size pump. But this main pump that we sell for all 12 valves will handle pretty much everything. So the flow rating on this pump is 185 gallons per hour at 4,000 RPM. That jumps up to 230 gallons per hour at 5,000 RPM, all the way up to 275 gallons per hour at 6,000 RPM. A lot higher RPM than most of you guys are gonna go to, but if you wanna go there, this thing will handle it. And those numbers are at 60 PSI. This is not at 40, so this really flows a ton of fuel. So this will handle everything you're gonna need. One of the great things about the Cummins engine is that it just lasts forever. If you, you know, do your proper maintenance, that thing could last 500,000 miles, no problem. The great thing about this pump is it can also last 500,000 miles, no problem. This thing is designed to work at a much higher pressure than we're gonna push it to, and it's internally lubricated. So you put a, a fuel that has lub lubrication itself, diesel is a lubricating fluid, in a self-lubricated pump, it's just gonna last forever. And so this is a really you know, die-hard, awesome setup for the 12 valve. You can put it in there and forget about it. So why am I excited about this? We have created a test bench where we can actually prove the flow. We're going to create a, a fuel flow chart for this pump. We're also going to create a fuel flow chart for other pumps. For years on the forums, a lot of people have wondered, what do these electric pumps actually flow? I've never seen a flow chart, and neither has anybody else. Some of the companies do produce flow charts, but most don't. So we want to see what does like a top normal electric pump flow at 45. What if we wanted at 60 PSI? Let's see what these can do. So we're gonna do a big lift pump shootout. It's gonna be awesome. This is now on our website. You can check it out there and also make sure to stick around for the lift pump comparison videos we'll be doing shortly. Um, that wraps up for this one, thanks. Please subscribe, we'll see you next time.